So if you want to get good at modeling on basically anything in life, you need a clear direction and a goal because if you don't have one, you will run around circles and don't make any progress. So in this video, I will to show you how to create a goal and how to actually achieve it. And the following lesson is just one module out of my new free surface modeling introduction course for beginners. And this course covers all the basics and fundamentals ensuring you excel in surface modeling. Starting with explaining NURBS and CAD, you will dive into the key principles of continuity and and tangency. Through hands-on exercises you will master surface modeling techniques by modeling objects like a shampoo bottle and cylinder connections. Additionally you will get mindset training to tackle complex projects and solve common problems like smoothing surfaces and working with lofts. And as a grand final there is a special section on how to model a product design from scratch with all the learnings. So enroll in this free course today and start your journey in surface surface modeling with plasticity. So check out the first link in the description box next to the video and now let's dive in into this tutorial. All right, so the direction and let me start with the quote. How do you expect to get to a destination when you don't know where you're going? So what does that mean? You need a goal, you need a direction. Because some people, when they hear, oh, he, he teach us, uh, you, you need a goal and a guru, guru. Okay, I don't care about those people. But just goal, direction, those words are interchangeable for me. Or a north star, right? So when you're in the night in the ocean, right? So then it's night and you don't know where you're going. You need a north star again, a direction. So let me draw you something so you understand that and yeah, I've created that already here. Let's just say, right, because most of my people are in the, U uh, in the US and yeah, most of the people know the US. So for example, you are in LA, right? So LA is on the West Coast and you want to go to New York City, which is on the West Coast, right? So you want to make a road trip or you just want to get from your like current location to the like desired location, right? So this is then kind of your goal. So you know exactly where are you going. So when you start now your road trip, so if you would not have your goal, you would just go randomly and you just wouldn't know where you are going. And I don't know, it's the same as you are in the airport and you get to that counter and you say, I, I want a flight. And then the lady asks you, where do you want to go? And you say, I, I don't know, I just want a flight. And then they, she gives you a ticket and then you fly somewhere and you're in Africa, but then you get out there, it's too hot and you are saying like, why, why I'm here? I don't want to get got here. It's because you didn't know where you wanted to go. But now you know where you want to go. You are in LA and you want to go to New York City, right? And so there is a distance. And what you're doing is with the car, right? And also just... I forgot the thing. So it could be, so this is just like a, like an example, but it could be also. So for example, you are right now a beginner in, in surface modeling and plasticity, 3D modeling, but you want to become a pro because you want to work in an industry. You want to make freelance. You want to make some money. You just want to be good. You want a nice portfolio, all that kind of stuff, right? So you see. You are always in the current situation and you always, you should go somewhere. Why? Because what will happen, you will start with your car and your car, let's say you start at night and you, you drive and you only see always the next 50 meters because of the light of, of, of the car with uh, like the shining light, right? Because it's dark and you always see just like the, the, the next 50 steps ahead of you and you start to drive and then what will happen, you will get at some point, so you will start and you are motivated and then, and then I don't know, because it's dark and you are, you don't have Google Maps, right? You get somewhere and you can't, 
make it through. So, for example, I don't know, there's a tree on, on, on the road or so, right? So, you encounter a problem, right? So, it could be the same when you are a beginner and you want to be become a pro, you always encounter problems. So, it will get frustrating and there will come points, oh, I'm not good enough, I don't know what to do and all that kind of stuff. And if you have a goal, so where you want to go, what will happen? You will get to this point, but then you will get back on track because this is normal and this is just part of that. But then you get again, to, so it's not the right way, so you can't go to here. But then you just start going again in that kind of direction, even though you don't know exactly how to get there. And again, you go forward, forward, and then what will happen? Again, a new problem will come. So again, if you learn something, if you want to get good, build a business, then it will get painful because I don't know, you have to do that. You have to learn three hours a day, plasticity, surface modeling. It's painful. It's boring, right? So again, a new problem. And the thing is, if you don't have a goal, right, then it's very hard to keep going. And what most of the people do when they encounter a problem, they quit they give up. So I see it all the time in my community. People sign up, they went through two uh, modules and they, I don't know, get a problem and they instantly quit or so because it's frustrating, it's painful. And always at those points, people quit. So if you start with like 100 people, right? So here, five people quit, here, 15 people quit and all that kind of stuff. But then you, because you have a goal and you know you want to become a freelancer, you want to make money, you want to be amazing at surface modeling, you want, I don't know, work in the industry, you again keep going. But again, you don't know exactly where to go. You just have know that you have to go and you will get, again get to a problem where, you know, self-doubt. Sometimes that you will have months and weeks where you just don't prog see progress or where you ask yourself why I'm doing all that. And what is happening again? Most of the people, 50% will quit at this point, right? So they will just go back because it's easy, it's comfortable and yeah, people are just weak, you know. But you, bam, 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 at some point you will get to that goal, right? So I know a lot of people uh, that I don't want to uh, put goals and uh, life is too serious and stuff, uh, but then you will not have any motivation or any North Star in those moments when life gets hard, when surface modeling, when plasticity gets hard. All of the people, most of the people quit. It's in life, it's in, in business. When 100 people start, just one or two people actually get to the goal and all of those others will just fail. So I hope you understand now why a goal is so important and how to form a goal, how to actually create a goal. Um, there I have just a few questions for you because I also know that a lot of people, they are 30, 40 and they never thought about that. They just live and just, they just work 30 years on the same place and they, they have never had a goal. And when I start to talk about and ask them, what's your goal? I don't know, uh, 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 make money or, or uh, I don't know, buy a house and stuff. You know, no one has really a goal. So you have to ask yourself to form that goal. So why are you doing this? So why do you want to achieve that goal? So when you achieve that goal, so what do you expect will happen? What will be when you actually achieve it? What will be there? You know? So for example, and just will give you a few goal examples that you could take or just inspire yourself so you, you better understand. Because I know a lot of people know what is a goal, but I also know a lot of people don't know. So learn high quality modeling to be able to get a job in the industry. Right? So if you like products, if you like this, this field, industry, then you have to get good at that, right? Because there are millions of people and applications. But if you are not very good, exceptional, you will not get the job, which is normal, right? So you have to learn high quality modeling. Or you want to learn high quality modeling to make an income from freelancing. 
So what I did when I did product rendering, I did most of the models back then also myself or there are like thousands of 3D modeling jobs, so freelance jobs. So people always need 3D, 3D models. You can just create them or you want to create, learn high quality modeling to start a business. So kind of what I'm doing, right? So I have to learn plasticity and surface modeling so I can teach it. So this is my business, right? Or what I also did, what I'm still doing, I'm selling 3D models and packs like on CG Trader, on Turbo Squid, right? So, and you actually can make money out of that. So, I, I mean, most of you, they, I know that 99% of the people will not start a big business. What I'm doing here, like full time and, and big goals and stuff. But why not make like two, three, four, five hundred dollars extra every month with just a few hours of work with selling 3D models or something in that kind of stuff, which is, by the way, so easy if you really want it, you know, so that could be a goal. Or learn high quality modeling to create a strong portfolio. So as I have, I have an amazing Behance portfolio back then. So I was doing 3D rendering because I was back then interested in rendering. But there are also like 3D modeling portfolios as well, right? Because they will give you a chance into the industry, into freelance jobs. You just need nowadays a portfolio if you're an artist or a designer, even if it's just a hobby, because you never know. It could all, always change. Or you want to learn high quality modeling to implement it in your professional workflow. So maybe you're working already somewhere and you just want to implement plasticity. Or what I find very interesting, so what's also uh, important for me is to learn complex problem solving. It's a trade for life. Honestly, guys, I think learn anything. It doesn't have to be right now just uh, surface modeling. But I think surface modeling is amazing because you actually have to learn it. It's not like Boolean solid modeling. You can do it in five minutes. It's the most easy thing. You don't need any skills for that. But surface modeling, you have to learn. You always encounter difficult problems, but which you have to learn then. Because, you know, in life, I have a little bit the philosophy how you do one thing, you do everything. So my apartment is clean. So my car is then also clean. You know, when I go, go in the gym, like, like here in Poland, where I'm currently right now because I travel a lot, um, all of those weights, they are all over the place. The people are not conscious about um, like tidiness and that everything is organized. They are not conscious about that, right? And what I'm doing, like between my sets, I just take those and 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 organize them and put the the 15 kg to the place where it belongs and all that kind of stuff. So I just need things to be clean, tidy and organized, you know, I I I vacuum clean always. So I just that kind of person. The same for problem solving. I have a business, right? So I'm traveling a lot. So I always have to find apartments. I I have to find out how to I can make money, how I can grow my business, right? Then like also personal issues. It's everywhere a problem. But again, so if I learn problem solving in, in plasticity and surface modeling, it's just an exercise that strengthen my problem solving ability, which will split over other areas in life. And a lot of people don't understand this. And even I know also that a lot of my audience is make it just a hobby. So I know that I guess 90, I don't know, but I know that most of the people don't even watch this anymore. They just go to the uh, straight to the tutorial and I talk too much and stuff what some of them say and understand that. So some people don't care about like re to become really good, to become the best at something, to excel in life, to, I don't know, make extra money, uh, to just achieve something in life, right? But still, if it's just a hobby, because I see it also people that achieve amazing results in the hobby, they just write me, man, it's, I enjoy my hobby so much. It makes so much more sense. I love to practice. I love to do that and that. And I have this little 3D printer at home and your courses help me to just recreate cool projects. And I just enjoy do this as, as a hobby, right? So that could be also just a goal without uh, making money and be professional and be extremely good. So 
maybe someone is now interested of you. So I just want to make the point. What is my goal? What is my mission? What is my direction? I help people to master high quality 3D modeling in plasticity with the best educational content on the internet. And so, you know, when I teach you about goals, then and how to set up a goal, then it's not just, oh, I just talk you some fancy stuff and here my goal is just some fancy, cool, uh, nice um, uh, words that that it's nice, that sounds, sounds good and stuff. No. So if we take my goal, my mission statement, so I have the word people, master high quality 3D modeling, plasticity, and best educational content on the, on the internet. So what does that exactly mean? So people, who am I helping? I'm not helping animals. I, I, I don't help business company, uh, businesses. I don't help companies. I help people. And those people are clearly defined as artists and designers. Then what exactly? So I'm not helping them to master 3D because 3D is like rendering, texturing, like all of those stuff. It's master high quality 3D modeling. So not just 3D modeling, not just Boolean, uh, um, not just solid modeling techniques and 50 seconds tutorials on YouTube, but high quality, real world, actual good stuff. Then where? Not in Cinema 4D, not in Blender, not in, not in just 3D software, in plasticity. Like one year I'm only doing plasticity tutorials and I focus completely on plasticity. And how will I achieve it? With the best educational content on the internet. So not just uh, some tutorials where I don't explain, where I don't speak, where it's just time lapse. So no, 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 no one will learn anything from that. So especially beginners, but it's the best educational content in depth, step by step with explanations of also what I'm doing here, not just uh, teach you how to 3D model. And this is what most people want, but it's actually what I'm telling you here right now and in the next modules, what is important. But yeah, a lot of people, unfortunately, yeah, will not listen and I can't get that information to them if they don't are ready or don't want to listen to that. But yeah, different story. So everything that I'm doing in my business, right, has to be aligned with that goal. So I'm encountering a problem or I don't want to do that or it's so painful to record this like this course right now. I'm working already like the sixth day, like every day, like eight hours plus I'm working on this course and it's painful because it's free and I give so much information. I could easily sell it for $60, $70, but it's my goal to help master people 3D modeling with the best educational content. And this is, in my opinion, a part of it to, to fulfill this goal, right? So free and paid people who want to, to invest then in and, and save time and, and get the complete step-by-step -step solution. They can buy their courses, right? But it's also, it has to be free. So just for the most people. And yeah, as I, as I said, it gets, so if it gets painful, if I have doubt, if it's stress, if I have fear, basically every day, normal when you have business, this goal guides me and gets me back on track. So your step, identify and elaborate a goal. Think about it. Create a goal for you. And don't put it, write it in stone. It always changes a little bit till you really have something that is really like your real truth and identity, right? So once you have a direction and you know where you are going, you need focus. So let's check that out. And if you found that lesson helpful and you want to learn more about surface modeling, check out my free course with over 40 modules explaining everything about surface modeling that you need as a beginner. So sign up today with the first link in the description box next to the video. And I hope I can see you in there. Have a nice day. Bye.